what do we have here? We got a box, and I love boxes because they have cool things in them. Um, some people like boxes just for being boxes. Not me. I like the things that are inside the boxes. So let's get rid of the box, and we'll get whatever's inside. I got my Rook. Some people say Rake. Like everyone but you. Uh, was it a 105? But you yeah, love M to be different and wrong. I love this root, man. It's so smooth. Although, I've been noticing lately that the lock bar is a little weak. And I've never done anything to it, but I wonder if maybe I should try to give it a little bend inward to have a little more pressure. It's nice and drop shutty. It could be a little less drop shutty. It wouldn't hurt anything. But it's a little light on detent. So I think if I press it a little more, I don't know, we'll see. Future video. Let's get this sucker open and see what's in here. I think this is something from somebody on one of the pages. Um, oh, that's awesome. Man, I've been looking at this thing for a long time. Wanted one for a long time. It's a Max Ace. And it is... It's called the Black Mirror. Boy, that is nice looking. Okay, it's a tad smaller than I thought it was going to be, but it's really nice. This is definitely a user. It's got a lot of scratches on it and stuff, but that's my kind of thing, because that's a better deal. Okay. Really nice, smooth opening with the uh, with the thumb hole. Boy, the air goes are great. Even though it's kind of a smaller knife, it's a full-size handle. I'd say it's almost a little thin top to bottom. Ooh, maybe I could put a little contouring on it or something. That doesn't necessarily need it, but that would be nice. It would be kind of a cool thing to do, just to make it cooler than it already is. How's that blade? Looks like, um, what is it, M390? I'm trying to remember. M390, yeah, nice. Um, full flat grind, and it's um, uh, stone washed, looks like. The thumb hole, very, let's see how it does with the thumb. Oh, that's nice. Opens real nice. You got to kind of mm, be aware of it and make sure your thumb goes all the way down there. Boy, that's nice. Got a nice sound to it, too. It could almost have a little bit heavier detent. It almost has the same problem as the uh, Rook. A little light on the detent. Interesting. And it's not drop shutty. You would think it would be more drop shutty if it was you know, light on the detent because of the lock bar being low pressure. But it's definitely not drop shutty. I wonder if I put a little oil on it, if it would get that way, or a little more. Because right now, it's like multiple shakes to get it down. Let's see. Let's do the old oil trick. That's where we put a little oil. You know, I was going to say, where that detent is probably matters a lot as to whether it's drop shutty or not. And where this detent is, it's kind of far away from the pivot. So it has more leverage against the movement of the blade than one than a knife that has the um, detent ball closer to the pivot. If the detent ball is closer to the pivot, it has less leverage on whether the blade can move easily or not, so the blade can move easily. This one might never get drop shutting because that detent ball is kind of, mm, let's see, the detent ball is kind of far away from the, um, there we go, kind of far away from the pivot. You can see where it is right there. I'll try to put a little arrow on it. See? That's the little SLB right there. And it's not as close as it could be to the pivot. You could move it this way a little bit. Uh, no, that's probably good there. It could just be out near the end of the lock bar. Uh, then it would be closer to the pivot and have less leverage on the blade and be more drop shutty. You know, not everyone likes drop shutty blades. Not everyone needs that. Um, it's definitely smooth. Although, let's see. Interesting. Here's one way you can test a knife to see if bearings would help it be more drop shutty and smoother, or if um, it's too tight. So you take the lock bar and move it all the way open and see how drop shutty it is now with no lock bar hitting it. This one's not super drop shutty. I'm gonna go ahead and try to just loosen it and see if the pivot's maybe too tight. So I've loosened about a half turn. Okay, it's definitely loose now. Like, too loose. Still too loose.
Okay, still too loose, so I don't know if it was too loose. Or, I mean, I don't know if it was too tight, because I'm putting it about back where it was. So I don't think that's it. Let's see. Eh, okay, it's a little more droppy. Up, oh, still a little bit um, loose, though. So, keeping your pivot loose is not going to make your knife more drop shutting. You want it to be tight. You want it to not have play back and forth here. Some people check the play up here. That's not a very good idea because this lock bar is locking it all together and it's not going to have play up here, even if there's some here, possibly. So, I always check it right about here. I think I just talked about this in another video, so I'm just restating what I already said, but it's getting close. What is in here? It looks like it has a whole nother pivot set up. That's interesting. It's got, hard, it's got all the hardware repeated. That's neat. Hmm. wonder why. Just because. That is really interesting. I'm glad they did that. Because maybe I could take one set of hardware and, you know, bronze it or something if I wanted to. All right, let's check and see. Okay, now it's way more droppy when the, um, when the lock bar is opened. Still a tiny bit of play, though. Let's get rid of that tiny bit of play. Okay, I'm going to say that's good enough. Okay, so it was over-tightened a little bit. Interesting. If it got cleaned out and oiled, we might see it be a little more droppy. And it's actually a good bit more drop shetty right now. It just takes a little tiny bit of oomph to get it to go down. Huh, that's weird that they had it over-tightened. Yeah, it's really smooth. Boy, I think uh, I think I really like it. The uh, anodizing on the clip is interesting. It has a big beefy clip, man. Look at that thing, or a big beefy end on the clip. Wonder if it's doesn't feel too strong though. It feels like it's really nicely sprung. Let's give it a shot in the pocket and see. Oh man, that goes in and out very nicely, very easily. <laughs> Boy, I'd almost wish it was a flipper too. That'd be cool if it had a flipper on it. Uh, it can't, though, because right there, well, I mean, it could, then it would just be a flipper tab sticking out like this, but they wanted it to be able to be choked up on here, and they did a good job with that. That jimping uh, right where a flipper tab would be is kind of perfect right across there for a, a place for your finger um, and to keep it away from the blade edge. I mean, you can put your finger up in here, but it feels good just right there. That's really nice. But you can also even go right up to there. That's fine, too. So... For a small knife, you could actually use this, even if you had, you know, double XL, uh, big old uh, baseball mitt hands. Boy, I think I like that a lot. That's nice, man. Great size knife. It feels a little on the thick side. Let's see. What do I got nearby? Here's a Civivi. What is this one? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. But a Civivi is going to be. Oh, well, I was wrong. This Civivi liner locks thicker than this uh, black mirror. So, I'm gonna say it's not thicker than usual then. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that. I'm gonna say it's uh, probably less than a half an inch. Let's see, do I have a, uh, do I have some measuring device nearby? You know what, I don't. Let's see, let's do it to a para two. It's not called a para two, is it? It's called a uh, paramilitary two. PM2? PM2, that's what it's called. I'm going to say it's right about the same width as a PM2. It's actually maybe a hair less than the PM2. I think the PM2 is right around a half an inch, so... Yeah, take that as you like it. It's definitely not too thick. Boy, it's got a really nice sound. Listen to that. That's a nice sound, man. I was hoping I would like this, because, you know, I like the look of it. It's just got a really nice, smooth uh, look. So this is a Maxace Black Mirror... And out of the box, uh, now this is a used one, obviously, um, it's nice. I think new, they're only, mm, I want to say 150, 160, something like that. And Max Ace makes really, really good stuff. It feels really, really well done. Look at that lock access. That lock access is ridiculous. That's almost like when there's a lock access issue and I go after it with my grinder and I overdo it, that's what it looks like. It looks like somebody kind of overdid the lock access. Like, oh, you like lock access? We'll put lock access inside your lock access. It is uh, one of the most lock accessible knives uh, I've ever seen. Boy, it has a nice sound, man. It has a little bit of a rip as it opens, I think. 
That's interesting. Yeah, maybe not. Boy, I like it a lot. Max Ace Black Mirror. Um, out of the box, I'm digging. Oh, let's see. Is it sharp? I'm going to use my this declaration thing that they left in my luggage when they stole six of my knives. Oh, man. Now, this is a user, but it's sharp as shit. Damn. Woohoo. Okay. Does not need sharpening. It has a hiccup or two, but man, it is sharp. Good to go. I like this a lot as a, as a little bit of a smaller knife. Uh, I really like it. Let's compare it to a PM2 for the length. The blade is only a hair smaller than the PM2 blade, but overall, it's quite a bit smaller, height-wise and length-wise. Let's find another knife that's kind of closer to the size. Well, let's look at that Civivi. What Civivi is this? Man, I need to know what it's called. Is it an Altus? No, it's not that. It's a, even this one's a little bit bigger, but not much. It's pretty close. Um, what else do I got laying around here, man? Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. Nope, that would be ridiculous. Okay, that's probably a good size comparison. This is the um, QSP, uh, what the heck is it called? Hornbill. I bet that's really close. Same length blade, almost the exact same length handle, so it's about the same size as the QSP Hornbill. A little, I'd say it's a little thinner, actually. Oh yeah, it's a little thinner. Handle's a little thinner, top to bottom also. But it's about Hornbill sized. So, I'm not sure if that helps you. If you don't have a Hornbill, not a lot of people probably do. But, there you go. If you happen to have a Hornbill, it's about that size. Uh, the weight, the weight's really good too. I'm, it might be lighter than the Hornbill. Even though it's titanium and the Hornbill's carbon fiber. You would think a, um carbon fiber knife would be lighter than a full titanium but i don't think it is let's find out i think the hornbill is about 3.7 3.9 i wasn't too far off and i think the black mirror is 3.5 oh they're about the same 3.8 3.9. Okay, so the hornbill is a little heavier. I was right. Ha <laughs> I'm going to be right about something. So I was a little bit wrong on both the weights, but the uh, hornbill carbon fiber liner lock is a little bit heavier, one-tenth of an ounce heavier than this black mirror. Black mirror, it feels even lighter for some reason. It feels, it feels a good half an ounce lighter. Really nice, man. I I'm super happy with this. Uh, trade. I think I, no, did I buy it? I think I bought it, uh, I don't remember. It was either a purchase or a trade. Doesn't matter, but really nice, man. I'm going to clean it out, maybe do some Anna on it. Boy, some Anna would look really nice on that nice flat uh, slab of titanium to do some Anna on. I might even leave these guys the same color they are and do some other Anna on it, because, you know, I kind of want to leave the Max Ace logo right on there. I wonder if it's dirty, or if it's, uh, Hmm. I'm not sure. There's like a weird mark right there. Almost like something spilled on it that, that hurts the uh, titanium, which would be weird. Not a lot of things do. Anyway, we'll see what I do with it. We'll do something with it. We'll carry it around, uh, get a, a more full report on it. And uh, Black Mirror, Bowler M390. Have a nice day.